Okay. This is it one. Uh, can you that's your name? That's your hand to <coughs> us. Who is the other? You, all right. <coughs> Do you like this workspace? Yeah. It's good, right? It's pretty straightforward, colorful, right? But uh, do you understand, or have you ever tried to understand why this note is with the different color around, like brown color? <coughs> okay. And the second is, of course, from from the workspace, the final end. The reporting document is also in brown and rough. <coughs> so how can you get the answer? You have to read wrong again. And then you can get the answer. Right, let me show you that. <coughs> if you want to see the answer, it doesn't work. So that means I have to run all or run the modify. The modify means your note, including the, the, the <coughs> end note, the recording <coughs> note, is already uh, modified by something. So until you rerun, you refresh, and then you can get a clean the answer. The clean answer means after you run it, the outside of the wrong should be uh, should be nothing, should be clean, not white. So it takes time. Okay, let's see. You have the mm. code. The code, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, let's do it wrong again. Just take a couple of minutes. And you will see after you refresh all the notes you set in the workspace, the, all the notes will be uh, like a clean note, like the original data source. There's no other, other color. Around here, that is good, right? And after you run it, you will find an answer. A small key is right here. You can <coughs> click here to get a new answer. And of course, right here. There's a small key right here. You can click here to get an answer. So, the first hint for you, all right? How about, just like that, I asked the, the, the gentleman two question. How I can get <coughs> a clean note? Without any refresh, rerunning the the word space again next time, because I will image myself. I will consider, okay, I submit this written report to Professor Liao. How many students here? 10, 15, 20? 20. 20. For example, 20. So if we we all of us 20 students, we submit the report to Professor Liao. How will <coughs> Professor Liao do? You have to refresh 20 times <laughs> and you can get the answer. Be quiet, because of course you submit the answer the report. You also submit the PPT slide. I can check. But sometimes I would like to check the details. Are you really setting the, the, the perfect parameter setting? I'm not sure. I would like to, to double check. But I have to <coughs> run 20 times. Will you do that? <laughs> no. No, yeah, you don't want to do it. Yeah, me <laughs> yeah. Okay. So the small hint for you is just like here. When you right click, when you right click the note, you see there is an option embed the document on set. You just click it. And when you set the workspace, don't worry, don't worry, next time when you reopen this workspace, you can double click and check the details directly. You don't have to read wrong. Right here. And right here again. And right here again. Of course, the reporting document, you also can do that. And you save it. Let me, let me show you that. Okay, I save it. Okay, I click it. Uh, okay, yes. Uh, no. Hmm. 
<coughs> okay. Let's go back here. Uh, okay, this one, right? Check the time. I already reset it. So when when static card is open, you can check. Is there any other color show here? No. And you can click here to check your answer. You don't have to read wrong. Yes. This is the first hint I would like to show you that. It's more piece, but you will help you a lot. Okay? Embedded your proficient or parameter you already set. You don't yeah. need to reset or rewrite it. And again the hint is right here. Make sure you already set up the embed document on self. You just do this part, it will help you a lot. Okay, and the second, uh, it should be this one. Okay, who, who is the lady? Or, uh, all right. I forgot this one or next one. I, I check in your workspace, and of course, I take a look to your answer. Your, your, do, uh, your, your original data, I mean, right here? It's quite different right here, right? It's not you. I put it 10 minutes ago. Okay, I will tell you later, right? Okay, and let's go, go to your original data. <coughs> okay, now this one. Now this one. Okay, let's just go here. Okay, so we did it again, and bend, and bend, and bend, and bend, and bend, and, and bend, mm -hmm. right? Okay, I put this data here. You see, the data is have the same name. That is what? Of course, I copied it. I copied it the rest of right here. But it doesn't mm -hmm. matter what kind of data I use here. I would like to show you something. In fact, this work below, we consider the data PA1, I run 2, <coughs> press 5, and I get an answer right here. And what's the next? It create the, your finding here and type in your internal report, present it here, and finish. Is that all? No, no. You just finish your own work. But the part is the part is the next. After you create a petition project, in, including you like to uh, do a classification, you want to do a petition job. You are not only do the whole work like here. You are not use a lot of algorithms and make a compression, do a good presentation and submit to Professor Liao, okay? Probably this is my whole work. If I were to be the professor, I would say, oh no, it's not qualified enough. Because I not only want to see your conclusion after you compare another algorithm, no matter what is the topic, transportation, precision, traffic, no, I would like to see what is your next after you find something from mm -hmm. this data. This part of what we call the deployment. That's why statistical give you the option, special function right here, rapid deployment. Rapid deployment means, means what? You already trained some model, you, you said that the best one you think. And then you would like to take this train model, deploy the two, deploy it on any new data set. Let's find the system was going to design this function right here. <coughs> so, <coughs> so first, if, if you have a new data, the same background. For example, today is uh, today is the, uh, the November Okay. When I see you next time, will be one week later. It will be the, uh, November twenty sixth. Suppose you will have a one more week new data you collect. You set back to the original data file. 
but you have a more data cap. I would like to ask you, Daddy, I know you were fighting last week, but let's see how you can tell us more in the past week. You have one more week new data, how you can find it? He said, no problem. I already put my new data here. And I can do a quick deployment to show you what is the answer. You can describe, for example, the high level, medium level, or low level, what do you find? You can say that. But you don't have to rerun all the procedure. You just put your data right here, mm -hmm. make a connection here, and set up the parameter, you can get the answer. Okay, can we test that? This uh, testing data, this is a learning, learning data. Um, data, this is a testing data here. You can say so, you can say so, but 20 <coughs> years ago, I will tell you, <coughs> this is the training data, this is the testing data. <laughs> but 20 years now, yes. later, especially we are in the edge of a big data, we will not only say, the data set here is for training. Training. We <coughs> might be saying, we might be saying, the data here we use is to use to train the model. Train the model. Okay. This data set, one of the uh, one of the tasks for this data can just like Professor uh, you say to test the model, but we might be better using we very act. We ver verify Very if our train model is okay or not. We will mm. use the verify. Mm. Is that uh, the data two is the updated complete data or one week data? Yeah. That's, that's oh, for example. How do you feel? Yeah, the complete data, updated, updated complete data, updated one week. Of course, the new data, only the new data. Only new data. Yes, oh. but you still have kept the same uh, variables, the same format. What I can I say? <laughs> okay, this is a good question. You will see, the data set here is just for testing to validate. Of course, you can keep the old data, include, I mean, including data trend here, and also the new data for testing. But if you would like to do really prediction on the new data, this is what we call the deployment. You can <coughs> keep the new data right here, only, it's okay. Because all the training processing, including the parameter setting, including the output that you require, all the, everything, all, all about the everything, you can, if you set it up for the training process, it's already set here. So you can use the new data, only new data, put on the directory. And after, after you rerun, the answer will plug into the recording data, right here and you can only see how about the deployment performance right here on new data. Yeah, I will do it later. The result will be will be for only new data or complete data? Yeah. For all combined data? Uh now combined data? Yeah. Result output. Output. Output, output right. for only new data or output for all data? What two data? Okay. Right here, let me say that, uh, we will rerun later, right? <coughs> right here, we already set all of the trend data, right? The, I'll put it right here. But right here, after you run this part, will be connect to the same node. Yeah. There will be a celebrate node, celebrate folder, only for the new data. Okay, of course you can check, if you want to check the previous output, you just scroll up, and you can scroll down to check the new data. And of course, in the same folder right here, you can make a comparison by yourself. Mm -hmm. And you, you have a question? No. no. Okay, let me do it again. Just run. Yeah. But right here, I would like to show you the difference. So let us do. <coughs> I just make this <coughs> nice disable. <coughs> Do you know this function? Yes. No, okay. I did it again. I do it too fast, right? <laughs> Anytime on the workspace, when you see the, the line in blue, you can move to it and right click and disable. 
disable he means in the worst case <laughs> if I'm the researcher I think their connection is in set but I don't want to run it now okay so just like uh, what we do uh, in the previous case, <laughs> we can run modify and we run it. <laughs> because what I want to demo here is to. <laughs> I hope you don't mind this uh, limitation. Because uh, I, I don't know how to say that. <laughs> All right, let's run the modifier again. But uh, when we uh, wait for the, the output, I appreciate you ask many questions here. And of course, uh, I like this way to have the interactive with each of you. Yes. Okay, it's finished here. Okay, so we, of course, <coughs> uh, you can check the report and do your output, do your report, something like that. And let's go <coughs> back here. Okay, let's go back here. Let me do rest here. So, let's see how we can do with the rapid. Uh, uh, deployment right here. And we do some parameter setting. Okay. All right. See. Okay. So when I see here, I can say this workspace is just for test flying, right? <laughs> Not only right here, but also <laughs> right here, because the lift chart. The lift chart is, uh, is a special tool only for classification. Uh, classification. So I can do is to check a response, low, high, median. Which one you want to try? First, you have to try the low response. You can make some gap chart or an also lift chart, and also the lift table. Personally, I I like this table. I like the lib table right here. And also, okay, I can say the RC curve. You know RC curve? Yeah, we mentioned the little. Okay. And how about the property table? <coughs> on the property chart? <coughs> Anyone want to think about <coughs> and tell something? How do you feel the property chart? How do you define profit? Profit means. Uh, yeah, he you may, he may need to do a good job. In the <laughs> assumption case and the. and the. and the. and the. assumption case and the. the difference that we achieve with the use of. Okay. <laughs> okay. Let, let me make a quick example right here. Uh, suppose you are selling something. Okay. You are selling something, and you will get the revenue, right? Right. And you, of course, you have to pay some <coughs> expense or the cost, right? And this is the problem. It's pretty a simple and case that's called identification about the profit. But here, when we do the classification, we will consider two ways to do it. Just like here, you have high median. You have the computer metrics. You have a low, median, high. You predict you also have a low, medium, and high. Mm -hmm. Is that right? Yes. That's what we call the computation matrix, right? Mm -hmm. And of course, if you know how to identify how to interpret this matrix, right? Yeah. Okay. So, 
Because of sin, we will know this part. Because it doesn't, it doesn't need us to spend money or spend time to integrate it. The original is high, and you predict is low, is high also, we don't have to say something. But we know this part is misclassified, right? Misclassified means you will <coughs> be punished. You will have to take some penalty, right? But white people, they don't care this part. Because they are correct, 100% correct, yes. right? Yes. But let's think about if you do a good prediction against to the original label, it means you are correct. Why should I have to be punished if I make a wrong prediction? But if also I can make a good prediction, of course I can get rewards. So that's why we say people the profit. But typically, but typically, let me say that uh, a lot of people including me, previously when I do this kind of task, the project, we always consider about how to set out the penalty because we don't want to take any kind of risk. We want to <coughs> avoid any risk after we do the <coughs> wrong prediction. But we forget, when I say another side, I forget if I really do a good job in prediction, why I can get a reward, right? Okay, but this part is for you to think about the, in your future research. Okay. That means your classification wrong. This classification, you must be penalty. The cost. Okay. You are predict correct. You can sub get some more information gain or profit. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. So let's think about People who do this kind of job, they always <coughs> be penalty if you do the wrong <coughs> condition. But no one concerned if they can get a reward after you do the correct condition. That's pretty interesting, right? Okay, so let's go back here. Don't forget to enable including the data. Okay, so <coughs> how I can run the, the rapid deployment. Wrong out, wrong modified. <coughs> yes, of course. Because right here, on the workspace here, only the rapid deployment node is with the color, uh, with the brown color right here. So when you do the wrong modified, the data will only do this part for you. And of course, <coughs> you can do another way. You see the, the, the green circle right here? It's just around there. Yeah, you can run, run this way. <coughs> you just run to know, and you will get an answer. <coughs> see here? So we only consider, <coughs> consider the low <coughs> response. We can check the answer right here. <coughs> this is... Actually, I, I, <coughs> I, I mean to copy the original data file right here. Okay, that's a new question. Uh, the data used to uh, be deployment should be a new data. That means we should not have any no information for the output. Okay. But I would like to show you here. Uh, let me say that. Supposedly, if we already get the answer for the new data, maybe tomorrow, maybe one week later, we have a final original data, our uh, final, final data right here. This is our predicted answer. Okay, and then we can make a compare. We can do a comparison right here. So data will help you to <coughs> do a direct comparison. What is original and what is your predict? If the answer is different, it will give you the answer is incorrect. <coughs> if the answer is the same, no matter it's median, low, or high, it will give the answer correct. See? Pretty straightforward, right? Okay. So this is the case study. I would like to show you the second hint. How to 
use your rapid deployment. Uh, try to find your an, a, a new ins, a new data file. Make a connection here, and you can also do some parameter setting. You want to do? I want to check the lib table to show the gain chart. Uh, check the lib chart, something like that. It's okay. Okay. All right. So this is the second case study. I will set it back. Okay. <coughs> uh, <coughs> who is the owner? Are you? Good. You three stay together, right? Oh. Mm -hmm. You're good. You're good. Stu <laughs> you're good friend, right? Okay. Okay. Yes, right here. The same question. Uh, you don't forget next time to use the embed document on self. But let's check your data. Huh? No, sorry. Start this one. Oh, give me a couple of minutes. I need to find another data. Oh, right here, I see that. Okay, sorry. Uh, uh, show your hand. Who is the owner of this data? Yours? Yours? <coughs> who who owns this data? Oh, you, you, right? Okay, good. Thank you. Yeah, because I checked it, uh, the, the first week uh, for report. So this is the file I searched for the inches. Okay. Uh, I just opened the data file here. I believe that when each of you, when you do the mitten, you, uh, you, you do a mitten job, <coughs> you have your own <coughs> data set. Okay. <coughs> I highlight this color. Do you find something special here? Yeah. How is that? Missing data. Missing data. Right? How do you make it pure the missing data for this test? Do you do anything? Anything special? And okay, let, let me ask you. For the other, uh, for the all of the students here, <laughs> when you do your uh, midterm job, your midterm exam, uh, when you do your data research, when you do the data analytics, do you find a similar question? Your data really have some missing data. You want? Show your hand. Let me know <laughs> if your data really have the missing data. Only you, you. Any, anyone else? No? Okay. So, the lady is <coughs> Suppose this is your data. Can you see the missing data right here? How will you do? No. No. You have function to that the missing data are deleted. <coughs> or numerical data you can replace with the mean. <coughs> Some action. Okay. okay. It's good. The typical way, just two ways. Why you to forget it? All right. Yesterday, yesterday I forget it. I just only look for the future. I have a beautiful tomorrow. I forget the future. Yesterday, right? And and, and the second thing is try to, but 
replace, <laughs> try to use other mean for the value to in, to instead of to repress, right? Is that correct? <laughs> no. Next time, maybe I will show you my uh, uh, one of my articles. I talk about the missing data. Yeah, how I can do the missing data. Right. Yeah, I, I just <coughs> submit. <coughs> <laughs> I mean, let me refer yeah. to Professor Lee. I just take a data like you from the <laughs> UCI. I do some discussion about how to deal with the missing data. And of course, after I deal with the missing data, I use the same way <laughs> like you do a lot of test prior, make a compression, something like that. But here, I would like to give you my third <laughs> suggestion for you how to deal with the missing data. Just in a typical way, in note, I'll put some info data in the yeah. Alright? <laughs> How I can do it? I will do a couple of operations. So try yourself to list down how I can do it. Okay, first time, when I do the data research or data analytics uh, by Statistica, I got the data right here, I check. The data is missing here. How I can know? Because the data file, <coughs> oh. the data file is over 30,000 cats right here. Uh, uh, 30,000 cats right here. Is it too many or too, not too many? <coughs> Depends, right? Okay. I'm lucky. I'm lucky for what? When I see the first screen right here in the first 25 cases, I saw there is something special. So I, I'm wondering, I might have some missing data belonging to this data file. But suppose, but suppose image, if this missing data <coughs> is far away to get it. You cannot take a first or second screen to get the data. How can you get a quick image? Yes, this data file is really have something missing here inside the data. How can you do? Yeah, how can you do? Sorting. Sorting? <coughs> Sorting frequency is a good way, right? But tell yourself, will you really do that? <laughs> no, no, I got a data. You, I mean, of course, it only have only when you have the first step. I am wondering, my data really have some data missing, and then you will do the second step. Sorting to the biggest table, right? But you just tell yourself, will you do that? Sometimes no, right? So speak, I help you to do that. A quick search. How you do? The first thing, okay, right here, this is the first variables. What will I do? I will double click the data file here. This is a special function we call the values and stats. <coughs> values and stats. <coughs> when you did it, I can <coughs> see all the unique values right here. Why I can say the unique? Perhaps the data, the answer, the value here will be repeat, present in the same color. So only I have to check, to check the unique value. Just like you do the frequency table, right? The frequency table will show you the unique label. And you can also check how many times it happens. This is the same way. So do the value and step. You can scroll down, scroll down, scroll down, scroll down. Okay. Because this column is continued data, all the data, it means all the data are continuous. So you see, okay, for this kind of data, the minimum value is 17, and the maximum <coughs> value is 19. They are reasonable, <coughs> belonging to this variable. So I let it go. It doesn't matter. But supposedly, if you have an idea, someone tell you, oh, maybe you study some literature review, they show you. This kind of data, the reasonable data, red, is between 80 to 90. So you will say, okay, the, there are some 
interesting, some strange number of bright color. I need to do something. And that will be the first step. Try to ignore. And or you can take some meaningful value to repress. Okay? So suppose they are this data, this color is okay, so we move to next. You don't have to close and double click another color. This this the other function we can do here. This is the right arnold. We click, you will move to the next column. We do the values instead again. See? I can see this is the missing data. It's a one kind of pattern, right? Yeah. yeah. Missing question mark is one kind of pattern. So you will see these tables they are meaningful, they are reasonable, right? They are perfect, they are perfect right in writing. Mm -hmm. So I accept. So this is um, no simple. So I mm -hmm. think they might be missing data. Okay, what I can do. The next stop, please follow me here. I <coughs> change the type. The variable type is not only for the test. I use the double. So I can see that this function test labels is alive. Mm -hmm. That means I click it, I can temporarily identify the unsimple and the unknown simple, the question mark, give a numerical label with one or six. Is that, is that okay? Can you catch me? Okay, what I can do? Go back, go back to here. I'm oh, sorry. Uh, right here. <coughs> go back here. When we check here, we check the test label. We cancel. Go back here again. I type 106. <coughs> missing data code. Yeah. MD code. MD means missing data. So. If you do this identification, after you push the OK, so you will see under this column, any cell with the question mark will be empty. So they mean in your further analysis, the data will not will not what, be calculated in any any of your analysis. Can you follow me there? Yes. <coughs> right. And you will ask why the the question mark, the number is 106. Why 107 or 101, 105? Why? This is a nature sorting, okay? Mm. Nature sorting, when they find the first category, second category, until six kind of pattern they find a missing data. So nature sorting, they give the code 106, okay? Yeah. Good. Okay. <coughs> Maybe you are you are quick your missing data happen at the second pattern. I mean the first category name no problem. The second term or your second data is missing data. They will call the <coughs> one or two. <coughs> Nature solving. When your missing data happen, sequence. Okay, thank you. Uh, I would like to do more supplement right here, with <coughs> Professor Leo. It's really, uh, yeah, as Professor Lee mentioned, it's really nature solving. <coughs> Let's go back to this column. What is the first label you found? Stay <coughs> Right. And the second is self employment, not blah, 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 income. Mm -hmm. What is the third? Hyperlate, hyperlate, hyperlate. And how about the self employment number? It's the same, right? The same. So from here, we will label this is 101, 102, 103, 102, 103, 101, 103. Ba, 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 ba. When you scroll down, move to the question mark. It just happened in the sixth pattern. The pattern is that we here. So theta will start in by 101, 102, and further. 
Okay, you can double click, check. Right here. Right here, state government, self employment, public, 101, 102, 103, right? That's this way. Okay. Okay, and, and how about this? The next variables. <coughs> it's the same way. You just check. I'm oh, sorry. You just check. For continuous data, you only have to check are they reasonable or not in your data range. Okay, it's another way to help you to find is there any outlier or extreme value, right? But for categorical data like this way, <coughs> just to change the data type from test to double. Double means I give you the pattern, a, munic a match, the miracle digits number right here, just to match, follow your label I found. Okay, you can do that. And for the educational, you can also do the double instead. Check that. Okay, there's no missing data, so I can pass it and move to next. And you can do that, do that, do that again. After you do that, all of the checking, so that, that means we really do a cleansing job on this <coughs> data file <coughs> to to what? Only for the missing data. Okay. So I close the data file. I don't need to reset it. Why? Because this data file is really embedded on the worst best. That's why I show you the first hint. Try to embed all you do, including the green data source, the blue or the red mark, the process node, and the purple, the recorded document node. So when you do that, you don't have to worry about, I have to set each of the nodes every time, give a new label name or not. No, you only have to set once. Mm -hmm. Just inside the same and only one was there. Okay. So remember, these three things will help you do a lot of good research and better results. And they will also <coughs> professor time, <coughs> professor <coughs> is time to check your results. Is that okay? <coughs> right. Good. So meet the final, please submit your raw data, okay, and your workspace. <coughs> and you have better two or three kind of algorithm to compare your output and performance. Okay, so today we will uh, <coughs> practice compare two or three kind of algorithm to find your output. And you can discuss in your conclusion, you suggest what kind of algorithm will be better output.